Hey, so I'm going to show you another way to rotoscope. So after you've got your two or however many chroma keyings you've added to your thing, I've added two, go to the rotoscoping, select it, and you start it up just like I showed you before. Add your track, add a new rotoscoping track, and then no, go up and click add a new keyframe and then you just draw it in just like before yeah I'm just gonna see I'm using a blue screen here that I made myself out of paper so it's not really too good but it works and then um, you just put your points all around it I had the video was off a little bit so you can so I'm cutting that off in this and I'm gonna probably cut off a little bit of blue too so I'm just setting it up perfectly. Yeah. And there we go. Move over. So now there I am entering, and now it looks a lot cleaner. Okay, but you just saw my hand go across there. We're going to take that. We're going to edit that with rotoscoping. We're going to edit out some of that extra blue that was in there. So right as my head goes across. I'm going to click Add Keyframe, Add another Keyframe, and basically what I'm going to do is, you've already seen, but instead of doing a keyframe every single frame, you can actually have, it'll do it for you. It creates every keyframe in between, so it'll like pan the lines across. You'll see that right there. It's so like I'm only doing every so often with my hand moving, it's a lot easier instead of building every single frame. And yeah, there. There it is. And now I'm also going to do my head leaving the screen, because I can. I had a little bit of trouble at the top there, and there it goes. There's me leaving, so that's cleaned up. Now go preview it, add your picture, select it. Go down to preview with picture or video file. Click play. Yeah, and there it is. You can kind of see it's not as good as it was with the lines, but <laughs> I didn't really have a really good green screen. You might at your house have something better, and I really didn't put too much time into this, but yeah. A lot of my face is gone. I always found it interesting how the blue kind of like connected to my hair somehow. The light on it like moved over. I didn't quite get that. And right there you can see how the how there's all that panning right through there from the rotoscoping. Real quick, it. it I don't know if I like it or not, but I didn't put too much time into it. I'm sure you guys can do better. And this is just to show you that there is... It's a lot easier to rotoscope than I made it out to be in the last video. Yeah. Right now, I don't really use sign gobs for my Chroma King. I actually use Adobe Premiere because it's a lot easier to use and a lot better. You can add multiple over it, but yeah. Okay, so now save your files, whatever. I'm going to save it at like blue screen or something. Yeah, that'll work. And this is fast forward. It really takes quite a long time to do. Sometimes I even leave the room. I was attempted to go onto YouTube, but I want to show it fast. Hello, 